Psalms 112. Uh, we we'll welcome all fathers that are here this morning. I want to ask all dads to stand down right where you are. Just stand. And uh, you haven't forgotten that you're a father. And uh, let's give a round of applause.
person in charge in the home, in the spiritual matters, in the financial matters, in the managing of the uh, goods of the home. If you are a good manager of the home, managing properly the things that God has provided for you, not wasteful, not careless, but a good manager, and then managing properly the grace of God over your children, your home will be a good home built in the solid rock, which are the teachings of Jesus. And the Bible says that those that build the house on the rock of the teachings of Jesus, the storm may come, the, uh, the winds, the earthquakes, but they will endure because the foundation is in the Word of God. He delights greatly in His commandments. In other words, the Father finds delight in the Word of God and then He transmits that Word to His children. And uh, the fear of God, seeking the Lord. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You want to be wise? Fear the Lord. Wisdom comes from God. Not the wisdom of the world, which perish, that's what the Bible says, but the wisdom of God, there endures, endures for all generations and through eternity. And that fear comes from the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all those who do His commandments, His praise, and do it forever. So, uh, seeking the Lord to do the things that are good for the home, for the children, for the wife, for everything that has to do with the home. Now, building a blessed generation, his descendants will be mighty on, on, on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Uh, wealth and riches will be in his household. He, uh, no, he, he just handles everything uh, well. And his righteousness endures forever. And let me just give you some, some uh, uh, ex explaining inside of what, what this scripture is saying because it's so, it's so true, it's, it's so beautiful. His descendants will be mighty on earth, the blessed generation. And mighty, uh, the descendants of, of the men of God, uh, the men that seek God, his children will be mighty on the earth. Uh, uh, the might uh, means the, 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 uh, the spiritual uh, protection, the spiritual discernment, um, uh, the spiritual uh, mighty in spirit. Not in, not, not in, uh, in, in, uh, in the uh, uh, secular human power, but mighty in spirit. Because the, at the end of the day, when the destruction came to the city, the armies could not defend it, but a humble, wise man saved the city. The wisdom comes from the Lord. Descendants will be mighty. That means that they will show, they will know how to uh, protect their hearts. Then God said, let the earth bring forth grass according to his seed. So let me give you three principles of uh, sowing seed in your children. Your sons, your daughters uh, learn by, by example, it's good to give teaching, and you should give a good teaching, but the teaching that you give to your children should be accompanied by your testimony, by your example. A good example is worth more 